transparency expert in Nigeria have taxed state and the country to adopt reforms which institutionalize the process of transparency and accountability. They say this will help improve governance and ensure citizens benefit immensely from the dividends of democracy. The world is dynamic. <laughs> governance is dynamic. Therefore, there is a need for review and reform of systems of governance, especially where you are talking about um, uh, uh, efforts aimed at uh, improving uh, on good governance uh, like we are doing in Nigeria. So, so this is very key and important in driving uh, uh, properly structured uh, 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 delivery of um, uh, uh, developmental uh, uh, programs of government. Uh, political appointees and governors come in and go out after the expression of their tenure, uh, either be it uh, four years or eight year tenure. But uh, there is the need for the reforms to continue to remain uh, and, and being implemented. So that, that's why the need for them to be institutionalized through the bureaucracy, through the civil servants that are, are likely to out, outlive and outlast uh, political appointees. Getting to that office, you must need the support and get the support of the generality of the people through the elections. And secondly, the civil servants too have joined hands with us and we are working day and night to ensure that we deliver. We are within the center of the Northeast and we share boundaries with virtually all the remaining states of the Northeast. As a result of that, we have the impact of whatever the socio-economic relationship of the people, you know, ends up dovetailing to having some impact on Gombe. And we have to work hard enough to make sure we accommodate and we give support to those that people that have lost out in some places and to see that we are working ahead so that we don't falter in the tasks that we set for ourselves. The reforms and the objectives are to improve uh, the management of public finances. So how government uses government money. Um, how accountable is it? How well does it budget? Does it consult people when it develops a budget? Does it consult people uh, when, it, when it plans infrastructure? Uh, so, so does it account for resources? Is it audited transparently? Is civil society, uh, does civil society have access uh, to, to how government money is spent. So that's one of, the, one of the key things. Then it also focuses on uh, monitoring and evaluation. It focuses on procurement. How are goods procured and how transparent is it? Uh, how do we avo avoid the, the fraud in, in the procurement uh, system? And then it looks at how using money better and procuring resources better can help improve health education and water and sanitation. That essentially is what the program is about. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.